Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another launch box tutorial. Today we're going to be covering an obscure Nintendo handheld called the Pokemon Mini. Nintendo released it in 2001. It's a tiny handheld that takes cartridges. It's actually pretty cool, but I think they only released about 11 games for it officially. I love the little thing. I've been trying to get my hands on one for a while, so we're going to go ahead and emulate it. We're going to be using RetroArch to emulate the Pokemon Mini. It's very easy to do. I'm going to walk you through it. I've created a text document. Here we have the system platform, which is Nintendo Pokemon Mini. The emulator we're going to be using is RetroArch. The associated platform, Nintendo Pokemon Mini. Default command line parameters. We're going to be using the Poke Mini Libretro Core in RetroArch. So go ahead and download this. It's in the description. You can copy and paste all of this in the launch box when we get to it. Next thing you're going to need are some Pokemon mini games. Now I've seen about 11 of them that have been released that are true Pokemon mini games. Some of them are Japanese, but for this video, I tried to get as many of the US and European ones that I could. First thing we need to do is open up RetroArch. If you don't have RetroArch set up yet, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Jason and Brad have created some good tutorials on this, so that will be down below. Go ahead, get RetroArch set up, come back, and we'll get this going too. My RetroArch emulator is located in my LaunchBox directory under Emulators. And I'm just gonna launch it one time. We just need to get in here one time, download the Poke Mini Core, and then we can exit. So from here, we'll scroll to Online Updater, Core Updater. We're gonna scroll down until we find the Poke Mini Core. Pokemon Mini, Poke Mini, Enter, it's going to download and extract. We're good to go. We can exit RetroArch. Next thing we want to do is place our Pokemon mini games in our LaunchBox directory. So I have a folder named Games. I'm just going to drop them right in here. Easy to access, and I know where they are. Let's go ahead and start LaunchBox. So the first thing we need to do is add the Poke Mini Core to our RetroArch setup inside a launch box. So we'll go to Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And remember that text file? We can copy and paste all of this in here. So for our Associated Platform, it's going to be Nintendo Pokemon Mini. Copy, paste. And for our default command line parameter, everything from minus L to the very end here. This will add the Poke Mini Core. Make sure the box is checked. Click OK. Close. Now we need to import our Pokemon Mini Games. Tools. Import. ROM files. This is the ROM wizard. We'll click Next. I'm going to add the folder I added to my LaunchBox directory. So I'll find Games, Pokemon Minis, click OK. LaunchBox is going to find all the games inside of that folder and sort them for us. We'll click Next. Platform for imported ROMs. We do have a section for Nintendo Pokemon Mini Games right here. Next. The emulator we're using is RetroArch. If it's not automatically chosen, just click the drop down and choose RetroArch. Next, I'm going to use the files in their current location because I placed them in my LaunchBox directory exactly where I want them. We'll search for metadata from the LaunchBox games database. Would you like to download images for your games? Of course we would. Click Next. If you're prompted to sign into EMU Movies, I definitely recommend going to sign up with them. It's free to use. You can donate so you unlock a few perks like more downloads per day, but it's definitely worth signing up. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? No, so we'll click Next. We have the name of the game, the file location, and the extension. They should be .min. Finish. LaunchBox is going to now download all of our metadata and artwork for these games. Mine's already finished. Six games were imported successfully. We'll click OK. And now over in the left hand column, we should have a Nintendo Pokemon Mini section. 
Here's the six games I imported. I'm going to go ahead and start one. One of my favorites is Pokemon Tetris. I love any kind of Tetris, so this is a good one. So I understand that some people might not even want this in their collection, but it's a pretty cool addition if you ask me. And to exit, all you need to do is press escape on your keyboard. If you own the paid version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation and set up a hotkey on your controller. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you at least try this out because some of these games are really fun and it's just very nostalgic to have something like this in your LaunchBox collection. Like always, thanks for watching.